and tight until we're warm again. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public. kitchen floor and then the tears a little more days that seem to last too long you reach for him a girl needs a dog words unsaid to anyone he warms your feet you softly hum listening to your quiet songs big ears girl needs a dog A girl needs a dog In times like these Some hope and a plan Clarity A girl needs a biker Her own car keys A girl needs a dog Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. In the night, slamming doors, a stupid fight. Someone to understand who's wrong, you climb in bed. A girl needs a dog. A girl needs a dog in times like these, some hope and a plan. Clarity. A girl needs a biker, her own car keys. A girl needs a dog. My name's Jesse Veter, and these are my guys. This is uh, members of the band Lonesome Willie. This is my uh, dad, Gene Veter. I've known him for a while. <laughs> this is uh, Mike Andrew, our friend, our very good friend. Um, I uh, grew up on a ranch about uh, 30 miles southeast of Watford City, and I remember dad gave me a book and told me, why don't you just write, just write poetry, write about your surroundings, just write in this book. And, and I was uh, really creative, had a lot of space around me in Western North Dakota, and I started writing poetry. And then dad gave me a guitar at 12, and I started putting that to music and um, actually started playing that music and fairs and festivals around the state with you um, and really busted out my own original music when I was pretty young in Medora and playing my guitar just uh, I'm sure it was just awful but um, I did my uh, first CD when I was 16 out in Western North Dakota and these guys have always been by my side and I've uh, traveled a lot uh, I've traveled all over the country with my music um, with an agency out of Nashville but these guys are kind of my core group of, uh, of guys that really get the idea of what we're doing here and really organic and earthy music, uh, music about our lifestyle out in Western North Dakota. I can't be a warmer breeze, no, 
I can't be her right now. I can't be a brown, warm hand stamp hair, your sweaty brow. I can't be your even miss or the clouds that roll on by. I can't be your blades of grass or the lightning in your sky. But I can stand beside you under skies of gray and white. I can stand beside you on those long and starly nights. I'll be your wool cap in your overcoat, frothing with your dumplings flow. Wrap my arms round where your scarf has been. Wrap them tight until we're warm again. I cannot go barefoot or be younger than today. Can't be your rain boots or your fishing pole or make the summer stay. I can't wear white dresses that leave this pale skin bare. I can't bring you lemonade or an umbrella for your chair. But I can stand beside you under skies of gray and white. I can stand beside you on those long and starlit nights. I'll be your wool cap in your overcoat, frothing with your dumplings flow. Wrap my arms round where your scarf is bent. Wrap them tight until we're warm again. Get your body over here. Bring me those frozen feet. Come a little closer, dear. Summer's hot, but winter's sweet. I'll be your wool cap in your overcoat. The broth in which your dumplings flow. Wrap my arms round where your scarf has been. Wrap them tight until. Said it's hell to have ambition with no energy to match. You said your dreams keep piling up on you. TV and learn to be a cowboy by all the sequels after that. And you
lost in the hill. The romance of it all swept you away. How the good guy gets the girl in the end. You were learning to live your life. But sometimes heroes break the rules to win And go through hell to be forgiven for their sins Sometimes a bad guy ain't so bad after all But then sometimes heroes fall And you are all The writing process for me has always been pretty uh, kind of organic. A lot of the music that I wrote originally on my first couple albums were about um, the tie to the land and being uh, kind of a member of the hills and knowing where, uh, where your favorite tree is and understanding that the ways of life are changing out there is connected to that landscape. I grew up in Watford City. I went to high school there. I graduated with a class of 45 kids. Um, my dad has been there when things were really rough and people couldn't make a living. Um, those memories are there and now all of a sudden we have all these people from all over the country coming to Mackenzie County, coming to Watford City to try to make a living and really have a good life. And there's challenges that come with that. There's things that happen to the landscape. There's um, things that happen to the community. But Boomtown was my kind of call out to everybody to say, hey, look, listen, Every individual that comes through this main street, every person that is setting up shop or asking for a job or working, uh, serving your coffee you've never met, they all have a story and a reason that they came here, ha had the reason they had traveled uh, maybe hundreds of miles and left their family behind. 
these are all people who are just trying to have a better life. And, and I wanted to take little snapshots of them in each verse, uh, one about a truck driver who misses his kids and the next verse about a waitress who just works her butt off and, and someone who came back home and maybe lost everything but came back home and found himself again. Those are all stories that are out there. And if I could catch that in one song, that's what I wanted to do. And I'm really very proud of Boomtown and um, I think it can be our little anthem. Donnie has got a truck and he's always here on time. Big boots and gravel roads keeps it between two lines. Thirty bucks an hour and the pay is good, but no time's better spent than the way your daddy shoots. Still he hangs around. Boomtown. Shelly don't stop moving till the sun goes down What she once was she's not What she's lost and now found brings them Breakfast in the morning and ice cold beer at night Listens to them talk Breaks up their fights She stands around Jimmy's moved back home, he's helping dad cut hay. 
pumps in the morning, but he gets home by five. We almost lost him there. Now he's more alive. God bless the sound. Boom, There's a story, Mike remembers this. <clears throat> this is, you know, when, when, when we were playing before, it was an earlier oil boom. It was, remember, it was real active around there. <clears throat> and my poor wife was had to listen to, uh, um, sit and listen to us in bar <laughs> bands forever. Um, she was very pregnant with Jesse. <clears throat> and um, we were playing a song, a kind of a slow song. And um, she's over here by the side. And of course, there's 80 men to one woman. She happens to be the one woman who stayed there at the end of the night. And she's way pregnant. <clears throat> this guy gets up, walks across, and asks her to dance. Well, he's not the most uh, desirable <laughs> character. He has uh, four buckle over shoes on. <laughs> and, and she's dancing with him. She's looking at us in the band going, please, end the song. Try, try to stop this song. And Mike and I are going, one more verse. One more verse. <laughs> so uh, she danced for about eight minutes with this guy, this pregnant. He had four buckle over shoes on, and he thought he was going home with her. I really believe he did. But that's, mm. uh, that's been the most fun about this, and for me, obviously, being able to, to play with Jesse since she's been little. We've had, uh, we've crossed the country, the two of us, Mike and I, I, I. Every day has been fun. Every day has been fun playing music. What I would have to say is that <clears throat> what Lonesome Willie has done is we surely do it for fun. It's been something, yeah. we've all done it a little more professionally. And for us, we play what we like. <clears throat> it's, it's, uh, we play when we like, and it's just been a real joy for us. So there's times when music can get to be a lot of work. Jesse's been through that where you have to just get to the next place, <clears throat> you have to pay the bills, and that can drain you too. So we're all at a place, I think, that's real, real fun for us.
there's too many ways out, too many to choose from. Black top, gravel dirt road, and I'm facing the skyline, but over my shoulder something keeps calling me home, and it says, Don't. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.